Hey guys, how's it going? It's 8 Bit Eric. So I got a slew of PlayStation 5 accessories. And these are from a company called Kiwi Home. A while back, they sent me a bunch of Nintendo Switch related accessories. Now they said, hey, let's get some PS5 stuff sent your way. So I got a charging type of dock. There's a charging stand for the PS5 controller. I got myself a controller storage container. And I got myself a charging stand with cooling fan so what we are going to do in today's video is we're going to actually take a look at all these products and see how they operate let's go ahead and let's start with the controller bag i guess uh, i will leave a link in the description down below for you guys to check this stuff out so this seems like a pretty standard i guess case holder similar to the type of material you see for nintendo switch cases open up this bad boy and I'm guessing inside oh okay I was not actually expecting this there is an actual shell protector for the DualSense 5 which we'll try that on and then looking at the inside it's actually very much like a switch carrying case and it has that new smell you know kind of like what Payless shoe sores uh, smell like like that weird rubbery like Phil, you know what I'm talking about when you're a kid and your mom used to take you to pay less. You know that smell. Don't even deny it. <laughs> All right, where's my PlayStation controller? Oh, here it is. My DualSense 5. Looks like we got a shell. We got some thumb grips and stuff. So let's go ahead and uh, put this shell on just to see how it works and fits. That's interesting. It got some, uh, some added protection that I was not aware that I would be getting. Very nice, and again, special thanks to Kiwi, Kiwi uh, Home for sending me this thing. Now, I will say this, this this case does seem like it will break. It's a little flimsy, but it does seem like it will break. Really fragile. So it looks like we just slip this sucker on and connect it like so. There we go. Oh, snaps on. So I think. <laughs> Seems like it snaps on pretty easy. There we go. I'm just afraid of accidentally cracking it if I do it wrong. Let me see. Put that sucker in there. Hit that. All right. <laughs> Well, we'll figure it out, but just to look at it, that's what it looks like on the controller. Not half bad. I'll figure out how to snap it on in a tad. But I, honestly, hmm, I don't know. It's nice to have, I guess it's added protection, but it is made out of like a real slippery plastic. So I don't know if I'll enjoy keeping it on. Let's see what's in this bag. To me, this looks like extra thumbsticks and stuff replacement buttons um that's kind of strange i'll have to look at the note it has like stickers i guess you place these above it on the buttons you can look right here here's a, a d-pad it looks like you stick them on i guess maybe it allows the things to be a little bit bigger these look like they clip on right on to the actual um, thumbstick like that. Make them a little bit taller, I guess, if you wanted a little bit more of a taller thumb grip. They come out like that. I could see that being useful for like maybe Call of Duty or something like that. Um, I will definitely have to see. I guess maybe you add these triggers. You, you stick them on with stickers. Yeah, so trigger extenders and button extenders. So these are extenders. You put these trigger extenders. That's kind of unconventional. Never seen trigger extenders. You put them on. I don't think I'm going to use those, but that's kind of neat. Um, I could get behind the thumb, the thumb things, though. They fit on pretty good. So not half bad. Um, let's take off this shell real quick because I'm going to use the controller um 
with this charging stand, which is the next thing that we are going to look at. So here's the charging stand. We're gonna open it up, take a look at it. And uh, hopefully it works pretty good. I just recently got myself a charging thing for the Xbox One controllers. And I was wanting to find something for the PlayStation 5. Um, there's a lot of them out there, so I'm glad they sent me this. And it looks like there's a lot that are this type of design, where it's kind of like a tower. You get this, you know, little USB plug. You set up the tower. And you put it, like, on the base. And you just kind of, like, slide it. Slide it on there a little bit. And, uh, move it. And, let's see. I'm trying to shove it. <laughs> trying to shove this sucker down on there. Seems like it's, uh, a tight fit, like Shady J's mom. Put it, let's put it in there. Um maybe oh, nope <laughs> i am i'm afraid of just shoving it in there and breaking it it is kind of tough to uh, there we go i got it okay so we're good to go i think i figured it out there we are so there it is and you plug it in you stick your controller in one of the slots you can see it has the charging cables so you stick your controller in the slot and biggity bang you let it charge so we're gonna actually see if this thing works pretty good um, I do wish it had a block for this and maybe a longer cable but we'll, we'll make do with it we'll plug it in here and I'm guessing you plug it into your PlayStation and leave it in rest mode like so and uh, we'll come back we'll see how it works charging one thing though it didn't seem to work in rest mode I, it only came on once i turned the actual playstation 5 on so rest mode didn't seem to work on this so i'm not sure if maybe i just couldn't get it right but it didn't come on until i turned on the actual playstation 5 which is kind of concerning and i feel defeats the purpose because it should charge in rest mode so we'll figure that out later all right now we're going to open the cooling station which looks interesting enough it has a charging indicator three piece usb hub two pieces type c charging dock a cooling fan removable accessories retractable storage bracket so you're able to use it for both the digital and the ps5 regular one um and looks like you could definitely use it for storage and it looks like there's even a controller charging port right there so you could charge your controllers on the side so you don't need the the stand that was sent to me but you pull this out and it's retractable supposedly um doesn't seem like it's coming out too easily uh, i don't know <laughs> so we're gonna take a look at this here's the plug that you use the front seems like you charge together i typically do not put my um consoles vertically but just for the for the you know ease of this video we will take a look at it and you can see there's some fans right there that are put in for uh to cool i guess the base so let's go ahead uh, through the power of editing we will figure this out and we'll put it together i have it plugged in you can see there's a light that shows power is going to it you have to put it in the usb there's extra usb you know connectors here so you can plug in your controllers your external HD, whatever. This indicates to you that it's working. You could fit your games in this little expandable thing. You take out one little piece so that the actual disc-based PS5 could fit, and it fits in there pretty solid. Let's turn this on, and you can hear the fans underneath are on, and they're blowing. Um, I haven't used this for prolonged. This is just an overview and an initial setup. Uh, I mean, it, it, for what it is, it looks okay. I prefer not to use my PS5 vertically. But if you're looking for something that could be like an all-in-one station and organize yourself, 
Doesn't look half bad. Charging stations. I don't know. Oh, you put these upside down. I'm sorry. I'm so dumb. So you put your controllers upside down and you hook them in there and you can see it is now charging. So it also doubles as a charging station for everything and they fit in there. So everything looks like it works pretty solidly. Um, again, I haven't used this Pro Long. I prefer to keep my PlayStation 5 horizontally. But it does look like it does the job and it works. So, interesting. Now, I will say the fan is kind of loud. The PlayStation itself is already a loud thing. So, you're going to be having two different noises at once. That might be a little annoying. But at least that lets you know that it's working, right? <laughs> well, guys, I think these accessories aren't half bad. Um, I definitely like the charging stand for the controllers. Hopefully I can figure out if it works on rest mode or not, but for a quick overview and then boxing them of them and stuff, not that bad. I'm digging the carrying case for the controller and of course the thumbsticks for that. Um, very nice of Kiwi Home to send them my way. The vertical stand, pretty neat, but I'm probably going to be honest and just keep my PlayStation 5 horizontal. That's just my personal preference but i could see it being handy if anybody wants to organize their setup for the playstation 5 so i'm gonna leave some links down below guys thanks a lot for watching as always make sure you subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you on the next one